What's up guys, welcome back to NZ Toy Reviews, you're kicking it with Kiwi Cons. Today we're going to be looking at the Retro TV Games Controller Console by Thumbs Up. I picked this one up the other day and just like always we're going to be looking at three things. Packaging, quality and most importantly the price. So let's do this thing. So the first thing on the list, packaging. Now guys, straight off the bat, as you can see, there's some damage down here. And there's a little bit of damage at the top here too. But that's okay, we're just gonna check out the design. So as you can see, we have the console. How many games? The name. Plugs into your TV here. And it's made by Orb Gaming. Or has another name, Thumbs Up. So Thumbs Up brings fun, quality, and value to the technology, home, and lifestyle market. Thumbs Up have been bringing quirky products to retailers large and small since 2004. Now let's take a look around the sides. There's that. Hours of Retro Gaming, number of games, Retro TV games, number of games. Plugs directly into your TV and the number of games. That's pretty much it. Let's have a look around the back. Now this looks a lot better. This looks really cool. So if we take a closer look here, it does state that we need three AAA batteries. They're not included as well. Okay, so that's pretty much the exterior packaging, guys. I love how it looks. Besides the damage, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the interior interior packaging now remember all nz toy reviews are aimed at parents so now we're going to use some tools to open this thing up so parents you can grab some scissors but i love to use my army knife here so what you can do just make a small slit along the top here slowly making your way across pop open the tab and there we have it Let's have our first look at the manual. Take a look at the front. On the inside as well, there's a few pages here. The rest are in other languages. Let's take a look around the back. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the packaging. So the controller comes in this plastic bag, which is held by this molding here. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. So the exterior, pretty good. Interior, not so good. I mean, it holds everything together. It looks tidy, but that's pretty much it. And that's my view on it. Let's move on to quality. What's better than having a quality toy? So let's have a look at this wire. Audio out, video out, and this is the part that plugs into the control. This wire is about two meters long. That's pretty good. Let's take a closer look at the controller. So as you can see, it's not too bad. It's really small. Look at it in my hand and up against my hand. Next to a double A battery. And looks pretty small. Now let's really give this thing a slam. So you can push this button in too. Let's move it around really good, eh? Push the buttons. They got a good click. So does the joystick as well. These little buttons are okay too. Let's take a look around the sides. Solid plastic. It doesn't feel like I'm going to snap it. There's an on-off button too. As you can see, there's a little hole here so we can put a lanyard in it. Pretty cool. So it does seem pretty solid. Um, now, parents, a lot of our kids are really, really strong and they don't understand that things can break. So this thing looks like it can take a pretty good beating. So when it comes to quality, it seems pretty good for me. So the only quality left is the software. Let's move on. Okay, before we move on to my favorite part of the video, we're going to install some batteries. So let's get this thing open. Let's have a look. So as you can see, there's many, many screw right here. So we need a mini, mini screwdriver. I just happen to have one in my drawer. This one's a little bit fancy, so it's okay if you don't have the same one. 
anyone will do. And let's just work away at the screw. Didn't take me long at all to open it. There we go. Let's open it up here. Use your thumb. There we go. Now, as you can see, three triple A's we need. One, two, three. I got some. One, two, and three. Nice. Let's close it back up again. Grab that screw. Screw back in. There we have it. All right, let's check the light. It turns on, as you can see. Turn it back off. Try it one more time. And there we have it. LED working. So it looks like we're ready to go. Batteries installed. So we're moving on to my favorite part now, the demo. Let's do this thing. Here we are guys at the demo part of the video. My favorite part, here's the controller. And here is the AV input. Let's insert it here. Let's turn it on. See the TV in the back? There we go. Now as you can see, here's the top eight games on the console. So let's go down a little bit. Let's go up. As you can see, 200 games. So what you do, you go into your game and you press the start button here. Press the start button. Here we go. Man, this game is pretty cool. Now to reset out of the game, just press the reset button. It takes us back to the main menu. There's the demo. Now the software on this is no PlayStation 4, not even a PlayStation 1. I think the ages can range between 4 to 10 or 11, but parents remember, for the price that you're paying for it, it's not too bad. Let's move on now to price. Now I picked this controller up from Farmers in the Westfield Shopping Centre on Woody Station Road in Monaco for $39.99. Now since the recording of this video, the price has dropped down quite a bit from $39.99 down to $27.99, giving you a savings of $12. Now that's not too bad. So there we have it guys, the Retro TV Games Controller Console by Thumbs Up. I really appreciate you watching and if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave links in the description. If you have any questions or toy review suggestions, let me know in the comments down below and you know what? I'll see you on the next NZ Toy Review. Laters!